This is what the road looks like at Edinburgh on the east bank of Babis. And residents told this newscast that when it rains, the situation worsens. The residents are protesting the deplorable state, hoping that someone in authority can look into their plight. According to their grave residents, for over a decade, funds have been allocated for the road to be properly repaired. But according to them, all that have been done is patchwork. Here, this road, I've been living here over 12 years. And every time they're just coming and they're doing a patchwork. And by the time they do this patchwork and the rain fall, this, rain, this road gone bad again. If you go out in the night, when you're coming back, you've got to pay sometimes a thousand dollars and all kind of thing just to come here. And the road is very in a terrible state. Pardon more, you cannot say it's a road, it's a dam. When there is sun, there is dust. When there is rain, there is slush. So we just ask in the peacefully. We want a new road, and to me in Guyana, the whole of Guyana, this area here, is the most highest paid transportation cars. So we just want the road to be done. The other day I taken a patient to the hospital, the baby born in the car, because of the deplorable condition of the road. We need road, we need justice. We use the money from NCN and GINA and some of the waste project that the government had, have, and give us a road. On Sunday, the residents used their arrival day parade to press their case. But heavily armed police were deployed along sections of the East Bank Public Road to halt any blocking of the road. As word got around that President Donald Ramatar would have visited, the residents quickly mobilized with the hope of having their voices heard. But the President did not attend that celebration. We had wanted to speak to our Honorable President this morning, thinking that he would have honor our regards since we went to Georgetown to protest this road and he would have visited Iberi today. But today, we were out here this morning in our numbers and we, w we came out here thinking that our president would have been more honorable enough to come out here and reach with the resident. But now we will not sit down and accept this condition of this road. The government is a servant and they got to serve us and give us what we need. We are fed up. Enough is enough. Edinburgh residents feel that they are paying the highest taxi fare in New Amsterdam just to cover over three miles of badly damaged road. Reporting for Capital News, Royston Drakes.